Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how you can use gratefulness and gratitude for your strength to be able to up-level your success in life, but not only that, your happiness as well. My name is Nicholas Bailey. Again, if you're brand new here, you're gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe button to get videos just like this. If you're searching this video, it's probably because you either don't align with the way that people are teaching gratitude and gratefulness, but obviously there's something that you're looking for. And the way that I stumbled across gratitude is really because I was trying to figure out what are the ways that I could not only have more success, because everything that I do is like, how can I have more progress or how can I achieve more? But also on top of that, have actually happiness while I'm doing it. Tony Robbins actually talks about that progress equals happiness. And what I found is that there are so many times when I was working or going throughout my day, especially if you're a man like me, or maybe you have a family or responsibilities, business, employees, that it's constantly in our head to consistently serve all of these people. And what I found through my journey of just like, having to manage these things and having a, a crazy schedule is that if I wasn't practicing gratitude or I was looking for a way that like, how could I wake up and not feel like I had all these obligations right away? How could I wake up and not look at what society tells us to do, which is look at all the things we don't have, right? With Black Friday sales and with Christmas and with all these different things, we get taught in today's society to just look at all the things that we don't have so that we can have motivation to go get those things and grow in life. And we get taught that if we don't have something that we're lacking, we're not gonna be able to go out there and actually go and achieve. But it's actually quite the opposite. It's a balance of two different thoughts. One, being grateful for what we have while we strive to go out there and grow other things. So it's almost, if you look at it like this, the shift of the mindset is this. What we're told in life is that we have to just want things so that we go out there and get it. Rather than coming from a place of what we're grateful for, and out of that place of gratefulness, we go out there and build, achieve, and grow even more. And when I learned this, it completely shifted my whole perspective. I remember a few years ago, I was running a business, married, and I had all these different people that I was serving, and I'd wake up every single morning, and I was just like, dude, I do not want to get out of bed. I don't want to do this anymore. This is not fun. And I just felt this sick feeling in my stomach every single morning when I got up. And I was trying to think of all the different ways that I could somehow switch this feeling and get back to just being motivated and excited about all these things that I do. And I was trying all these different things like try harder, work harder, health, all these different activities that I could do. And then one day I heard someone say, Nicholas, every single day when you wake up, write down 20 things that you're grateful for. And I was like, 20 things? Like 20 things is a lot of things to be grateful for. How am I supposed to even do this? And I started writing down the things and every single day I was just writing down the dumbest stuff ever. The weirdest thing happened. Three days later, I started waking up feeling completely different. So in this video, I'm gonna break down a few things for you that you can do, how I start my morning routine and some of the benefits that you're gonna get out of being grateful. So first things first, what are the benefits of gratefulness? See, what I've found is that whatever you focus on increases in your life. When I was growing up, my dad had me race motocross and in motocross or in racing cars or anything like that, they always tell you to look where you're going, not what you want to avoid. So if there's a rock in the track or maybe there's a wall when you're driving, cars on the other side of the road, if you've ever been driving on a road and it's narrow and there's cars coming the other way and a lot of times you look at that car because you don't want to hit it, well, actually, whatever you look at, you start gravitating towards. So if it's a rock in the middle of the road, if it's a wall, if it's a car, if we look that way, just naturally our brain and our bodies start turning towards whatever we want to go to. And so really actually focusing on the things that we don't want, which is what the majority of us do. We look at all the things that we don't like in our life. We look at the places that we don't want to go. It actually subconsciously drives us to be able to actually go that way. This is called whatever you focus on increases. So the first thing and the benefit of gratitude is that if you want more of something inside of your life, the first thing is going to be actually focusing on the things you want more of, not the things that you want less of. The second thing has been proven to show that your mind actually starts starts releasing endorphins, it actually starts getting, your body, your body and mind don't know reality based on just what's outside of you. It knows reality through what it's processing. So whether it's happening inside the mind or all around you, that gratefulness can be felt and that happiness can be felt as well. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I do in my morning routine to be able to have gratefulness happen every single day on command and the benefits of it as well. So the first thing that I do 
is when I wake up every single morning, I do exactly what I told you earlier. I write down the list of the 20 things that I'm grateful for. This was like a medicine. It was so weird. I felt so down and out as a man in business because I just was like, had so overwhelmed with all these problems. And I just told you like, whatever you focus on, you get more of. I was focusing on the problems. I was focusing on solving all these different things. And it was making me feel like anxiety. I wake up like without even a thought in my mind, my body was just reacting to all the stuff. And as I, as I started practicing gratefulness for three days, all of a sudden I started seeing this thing go away. So the first thing is write down the list of 20 things you're grateful for. This was super difficult for me at first because I thought they had to be like astounding amazing different things but actually you don't have to be that it doesn't have to be that amazing it could be like you know i'm grateful for the journal that i actually write the 20 things in it could be that i'm grateful for these cameras that i get to film and, and get this message out there into the world i'm grateful for the lights because man that would suck pretty bad to do this video without lights i'm grateful for the people that help me set up the cameras because i don't even know what button to push to hit play so it can be very simple just getting yourself to focus on what you're grateful for the other thing though is that just because you don't feel it doesn't mean it's not true, right? In the moment, you may not feel like you're grateful for the cameras because you're just like, man, I just wish that I would go viral. I wish that, uh, that I would have more money. I wish that I would have no problems. And a lot of times we start looking at what we're grateful for. We're like, am I lying to myself? The answer is no. Allow your, your thoughts and what you say and what you speak to shape your reality. So if you're not feeling very grateful about things, you know that deep down inside you truly are grateful about those things. You just don't feel like you're grateful right now. So go ahead and write those things down anyway. And the last practice I like to do as well is to actually write down things that haven't happened yet that I'm grateful for because I know I'm giving thanks for them happening in the future. And again, this is just another way of doing things. I remember back in the day, I had a pastor once that used to always do this. Like he used to always celebrate victories because he was just like, man, I know this is gonna happen. So my wife and I actually back in the day, and this is obviously taken with like understanding, setting your expectations, never getting too high, never getting too low. But a man and I, when we used to dream up what we wanted our life to be like, we used to go out to dinner and celebrate it. We're like, this is the life we want. We're grateful for this life because we know we're gonna create it. We're gonna celebrate it even now because that's how confident we are in actually seeing these results. So write down your list of 20. You could even do it right after this video. Write down that list of 20 things and see how it shifts you when you make this a routine and a habit every single day. It doesn't take you a lot of time. Can they be similar things every single time? Absolutely. And so ha that's the first type of setting like gratefulness and intention is, is actually looking at the things that you're grateful for so you can start seeing more of those things because whatever you focus on here in the morning, you're gonna see more of those things throughout the day. So the day starts out really crazy, then all of a sudden you're gonna see more and more crazy things that are going on all around you. You're gonna start focusing on those things and those are gonna shape your mood and the reality that you're in. The second type of gratefulness that I love even more that I personally have like really dove on is I actually had a mentor at 18 years old that started telling me and my friends, he said, Nicholas, stop focusing on the problem, focus on the solution. So every time that you have a problem come up throughout the day, you probably hear people go, man, this line's so long. Traffic is so crazy. The holiday season is so wild. My family members are so insane. And they're focusing on all these things that just don't matter, that are outside their control, that they just wanna complain about. And what he told me is, Nicholas, don't focus on the problem, that's the problem. Focus on the solution. And what I got from that was that every single time you have things coming up throughout the day, and hopefully you don't just do this to other people because I get stuck doing this sometimes, is I start saying, like when people say negativity, I immediately say something positive in return. So it's one thing to write down 20 things in the morning, but if you're catching yourself fall into a place where you're ungrateful, where you start getting entitled and all these different negative feelings coming up, catch yourself and flip it. Speak the solution, not the problem. Focus on the benefit, the positive side of it, not the negative. I heard someone talk the other day and they were talking about all these negative things that they were thinking and, and the way that people were coming off to them. And I was like, that's, that's one way to look at it. But if I flip that for the positive, it also makes the exact same sense. So why don't we focus on the positive rather than the negative? So how do we create an environment of gratefulness, of gratitude, where it's actually building us up every single day? So you know you have the list of 20, you have the things that you could do every single day as they pop up, you're like, okay, this is really difficult, but where can I find what's good in this situation? Because if I can find what's good, then it's gonna shape my reality, it's gonna shape the reality that I see, it's gonna change my happiness and ultimately change my success. So the way that I do that is I broke it up into three different categories. First is what you ingest. 
There's the things in our environment right here, and I actually made a list of a few things right now, which is like your environment. Where are you at right now? Is your environment giving off a place of thankfulness, of gratitude? Is it building you up or is it tearing you down? This could be the work environment that you're in. This could be the environment that you live. This could be the environment that you drive, like whatever it is. Is it an environment that's giving you life? Number two, are the people around you giving you life? Are the friends that you're around, the people you're pouring into and you're working with every single day, is your family giving you life? Are the people that you're allowing to influence you, are they building you up to be grateful and, and have gratitude and thankful as well? Are the books that you're reading, are the movies that you're watching, are the videos that you're watching, are the pictures that you're looking at, the pictures that you're reading and whatever your the quote cards, are they things that are shaping you to be better? The posts that you read on what the videos you watch on YouTube, the posts you read on Instagram, the posts you read on Facebook, the TikTok videos that you're watching right now, are they are they consistently building you up? Are the conversations that you're having? These are all things that you're ingesting, right? They're all in your environment, outside of you. It's like if you have a plate of food, are the things that you're ingesting, the things that are going into your body, are they things that are positive, making you grateful and thankful? The second thing is what you digest. So from this external environment, you'll then digest it through your body. So when you're writing down your gratefulness list, you're digesting that. When you're focusing on good things, you're digesting it. But all these things in your external environment go into your digestive system, which is all about what do you think about? So is your environment, in, is it pushing you to think at a higher level? Are the people in your environment, are the books that you're reading, all these things, what are you constantly thinking about? Audit yourself on these. The external environment, ingestion. And the last one is expression. What are the things in these environments getting you to do? What do, you act, what do your actions look like? What do your words look like? What do your facial expressions look like? What does your posture look like? And all these things, when they are aligned, you will become a gratitude warrior that will actually attract massive amounts of blessing, breakthrough, different opportunities in life. Not because someone else doesn't have those opportunities and you're better than them in some way, only because you're actually looking and seeing the opportunities that most people are passing up every single day. And the last thing that I'll say is that if you're struggling with a specific area of your life, you wanna create a gratitude affirmation. And what this looks like is like, what's a place that you wanna grow? Is it confidence? Start saying, I am confident. I am a boss. Start saying I am's that are consistent that you can believe for the rest of eternity. Like, you know, people will say like, I'm broke or I'm cold or all these things. These are all things that you can change. You are not those things. Like, you're cold, great, turn on the heater. Now you're not cold anymore. That means it can be changed, which means that you are not that thing. That is just a, a product of the environment that you're in. You can change the environment and change who you are. So you wanna create affirmations based on where you're at. So it could be I am statements. Write down I am blank, I am blank. And you could look up gratitude and, and affirmations online. Super simple to find on YouTube. But if you have something you're continually struggling with, you wanna make it a daily practice to hit on those things until you bring your belief level up in those areas. So you're gonna to wanna to go try all these things. I can't wait to hear about it down in the comments of this video. I know without a shadow of a doubt, if it worked for me, it'll work for you as well. This isn't another one of those things that's gonna tell you to go out there and rub crystals on your nipples or anything like that. This is real practical things that you can do starting today with making the list of what you're grateful for, going out there and having practical things where you can catch yourself every day what you uh, ingest, what you digest, and then what you express every day, along with gratitude affirmations that you write down in the places that you wanna grow. This is not only gonna attract more success into your life, but it's gonna actually give you more gratefulness and happiness in the very things that you do already. You don't like your job, start finding where you're grateful. You don't like your relationship, start finding where you're grateful for that relationship. Start looking for the best, and all of a sudden you'll start seeing it. Yo guys, what up? In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how you can use gratitude, 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 <laughs> gratefulness.